Morning guys. So, what are we? Monday morning, 11 o'clock exactly. So we had a bit of a late start this morning. I think we probably woke up about quarter past eight, half past eight or something like that. And I was planning on going to get my bloods done today to find out if I am anemic or something like that. Um, but I think I wanted to go quite early in the morning because that's when it's the quietest. And um, I just don't really want to like take Holly when it's like the busiest period to sit in a hospital for ages to just to wait for me to have some blood tests. It's not really fair on her. So um, we, I decided not to go today. And also yesterday I didn't have any vertigo symptoms at all. Um, so fingers crossed it's gone but then it's not really a fair test because yesterday um i basically just sat on my backside all day and did nothing which i know helps my vertigo symptoms so we'll see how i feel today and if my vertigo symptoms come back today because i'll be doing a bit more today then I shall set my alarm for early in the morning and we can go, what can we do? We can go and get my blood tests, my blood tests done tomorrow morning early instead. So yeah, it's a really sunny morning actually, but I've just looked at the weather forecast and there's gonna be like some rain showers from about midday which is in about an hour, but which is annoying because I wanted to put some washing out on the line today that I did yesterday, but tomorrow actually looks like it's going to be a really nice day. So I'll just either put it on the radiators tonight or I'll put it out tomorrow. But yeah, I think one of you commented and asked me where this bed sheet was from. This bed sheet my mum bought for me from QVC, the shopping channel. It's 100% cotton and it's made in Portugal. I'm trying to find the name of the brand, but I think it's kind of washed off. It's called Anna Griffin, is like, I think is the brand or the designer who does the prints, I don't know. But it says on this tag, Anna Griffin. So A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and then Griffin is G-R-I-F-F. -F. I N, but I'm not sure how you would get your hands on it because it was purchased from QVC, like I've mentioned. But it's um, it's like really thick. It's almost like a uh, flannelette, or what did my mum used to call it? Winciet? Is that the right word that she used to use? She used to call it that. Um, but it was intended, I know it's like a summery type of print, but it's intended for the winter months as just that little bit extra thicker layer. It's it's more cosy and stuff like that. But my brother has always liked having like thicker sheets and thick, the actual sheet as well, rather than the duvet cover. He's always liked having those since, since a young age, really. He called the, when he was younger, he used to call them like the fluffy sheets, which I can understand because like, it's not a thin cotton like this. It's, it's hard to explain. It's very hard to describe what it's like, but I think it, it's either flannelette or wincyette, I think my mum used to call it. But yeah, so basically all of my bed sheets and stuff my mum has bought for me over the years because we had this little tradition where every birthday myself and my mum would go to Cardiff, not every birthday but for quite a few years we did it we used to go to Cardiff shopping for the day and like she'd buy my presents there like when we were there rather than so I could like have what I wanted so we always used to go to places like um Laura Ashley and John Lewis and stuff like that and for a few years I had I think I know maybe I only had one I had one Laura Ashley beds um like duvet cover and pillows and stuff and then another year I had like a Kath Kidston one I got a few Kath Kidston ones I think I've got two or three now 
Um, but yeah, they're all like from my mum for my birthday presents. Obviously in the sale and stuff like that, they were never full price. Oh, and there's like the one with the robins on it and stuff like that. She bought that one as well. So, but they're like, you think it's a bit like of an odd birthday present to have, but obviously once you've got them, they last for absolutely years and years and years. So every time I change my bed, which is on a weekly basis, um, I've obviously got that memory of when we went to purchase them. So it's all like surrounding yourself with like happy memories and stuff like that. So top dollar. So I don't know what sheets to put on now. Let's have a look. Let's just show you <laughs> my two big colour set. I don't know how this has gotten onto this, but so that's the Robin one that I was talking about. So it's like that on one side of the duvet cover and then it's like that on the other side so you can sort of like you've basically got two duvet covers in one I like it when they do that so you can like completely have a different look so that's the one by I think it's called <clears throat> what's it called it says Pip Bath and Bed, but I think the actual name of the brand is called Pip Boutique or something like that. This one was actually quite expensive when you think um, it's like a duvet cover. You think, why is it so expensive? But it was heavily discounted and the quality of it is really, really good. But I don't want to put that one on. Um... Then this is the Laura Ashley one that I bought. It's quite like an old fashioned print. I really like it. I think it's cool because it's modernized because it's like pink, but it's got like, I don't really know what's going on in this at all, but it's quite like an old fashioned sort of theme. I don't really want to put that one on either. So yeah, I got pillowcases to go with that. Like those are the top ones, same print. And then underneath ones are the, I think they're called the housewife pillowcases. I don't know. Made in Shanghai. But those are the ones that I put on the pillows for underneath the top pillows. So that was all a set. Well, you had to purchase, I think that these two pillowcases came with a duvet cover and then these ones you had to purchase separately, but they were all designed to go with the same set as such, you know, so, so that's that one. I have another basket under here as well. I need to get like a better under bed storage. So this is a Kath Kidston one that I wanted, that I wanted, that I bought not so long ago, I think maybe, maybe a year I've had this now. So it's like this on one side, nice flowery, summery, and then stripy on the other. So it's like having two bed sheets in one. This is, I would say this is more, obviously it's got pink and green and stuff in there, but like it's more, I think that's more masculine and it looks more formal. If you can have formal bed sheets. I don't even know if that's the right way to describe it, but that's the way it's popping into my mind. So yeah, the pillowcases to go with that are just the same. Um, <clears throat> so this blue sheet is the sheet that goes with the duvet cover that I've just taken off to go in the wash and I have another one somewhere but it's not in the basket so where's that then? Aha! Uh -huh. So this is my other Kath Kirsten duvet cover and this is a stripy one again. This was the first one that I got and it's like this on 
both sides. So I've had this for quite a long time now. And then the pillowcases to go with that are the same. I originally used to put like a white, plain white pillowcase underneath the top pillow, but my um, ex-boyfriend's mother um, bought me just two random Kath Kidston pillowcases. What was that? That's Holly trying to come into the room. Hey girl, you okay? So yeah, I've got these two random pillowcases, which tend to be heavily reduced because they are, they don't really have sets to go with them. So you can pick them up for like literally a couple of quid. So there's that one. And then there's that one. And I keep those, I use those for the under pillows for this set. So that's that. And then the duvet cover that I wanted to put on, it's more of like, oops, you okay? It's more of a Christmassy one. So this was also purchased hey, from- my leg. You hurt your leg? Yeah. I'm sure you're fine. This is also purchased from QVC. So it's all these hearts, it's red and white, and it's got like reindeers in them and Christmas trees and snowflakes and stuff. So you could have it that side. And then if you didn't want it so Christmassy, then you could have it on just the white and red spots. So that's pretty cool. I think, yeah, I said this one's from QVC, but I don't, know who it's by let me see if i can find a label on the inside for anybody who's interested no this is made in portugal and it's 100 percent cotton so i'm inclined to say it's another anna griffin because it's, it's the same material as the blue one that i've just taken off the wincy out of or whatever you want to call it but it hasn't got a label saying who it is unless it's on something else. Holly, what are you doing, sweetheart? So then that all came with its own sheets as well. So it's got the white and red spots sheet to go with it, which is a really, really, they're quite large sizes. So if you've got like a deep mattress, you're not like struggling to pull the sheet over. Can you be careful, please? Because I don't want you to hurt yourself. And then the pillows to match. You've got the Christmassy side. And then the spotty side as well. So this is the duvet cover that I'm putting on today. It's the one I've been fancying to put on for a while. Help. Pardon? Help. Sorry. Help. Help. Hey guys. So we have just been to like a family centre place that supports I don't know how to explain it really. I've explained it before, I've been here before. Basically, I've come here to donate Holly's clothes that I mentioned before and like unwanted toys that she doesn't want anymore. And then they either get sold really, really cheaply or distributed for free to families who have less of a fortunate start when they've got young children or, well, children of all ages really, um, babies and stuff like that. So they're able to get like clothes for very affordable prices to reflect their lower income. I hope I'm explaining this in like a right way without being offensive, I don't know. So yeah, we've just done that. So that's our good deed for the day. So. That was like the 23 or 24 summer dresses it ended up being in the end, plus other summer outfits, shoes, um, what else did we put in there? Books that were too young for Holly now, unwanted toys that she doesn't even play with or she's sort of like outgrown and yeah. So now we are just on our way down to the cemetery we're gonna go and buy some flowers gonna go and visit granny because we haven't been in a while and it's turned out to be an actually quite sunny day 
so while we're out and about I thought that we should do that and while we were at the family centre um, I bumped into a lady who used to be in college with my mum which is really really nice and she was just like asking about mum and she had she didn't yet know that mum had passed away so I told her and she was a little bit you could see like she was a bit tearful about it and then she had lots of like lovely things to say about mum and nice memories which was really really nice so and she was really grateful for all the stuff that I'd given so I feel like that's a little good thing to do Hey guys, so this is my final entry for the day as today's vlog's quite long already. Um, what did we do? We went to visit my mum at the cemetery, took us some new flowers and stuff like that. Then we came home and watched Hoodwinked, I think. That's what we did. And then had dinner and now Holly's in bed. And guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to watch Prison Break. So... I'm on the first episode of the fourth season now, so proper loving it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.